Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dan Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of the village at Mill Creek in Seguin, Texas. Not quite Seguin, but it's in the northeast corner of it. Really actually close to New Braunfels. Interesting fact, if you happen to be working at the Tesla factory in Austin, this is only a 45 minute drive down the toll road to, from the Tesla factory. I know that because I've timed it. So if you don't want the Austin prices, hey, I definitely recommend this community. And this is a Perry home community. And this is actually the best bang for the buck Perry community in the greater San Antonio, New Braunfels area. Anyways, let's go check it out. I really do like this plan. This is the 3257 plan, the same as the model home at the Vintage Oaks Grove section, which I've done a video tour of. I think I mentioned before that this is in the northeast part of Seguin. It's in the northwest part, so definitely closer to New Braunfels than Seguin. But uh, nothing super fancy about this community. It's kind of just flat, but the easy access to New Braunfels is key. And the price range is very important and the location because, yeah, you are a uh, 45 minute shot to the Tesla factory, like I said before. But uh, love this community, love this builder. Let's go check out the inside. As you can tell, this house is still under construction. I just talked to the sales rep. They're expecting to be finished in August. They're going to do some stucco on the outside here and rock. It's going to be a beautiful looking home. Really big wide door. I can't wait to see what the finished door is going to look like. Right when you come in, you do see the wide hallway, the tall tray ceilings, kind of one of Perry trademarks. Do have the formal dining room right off to your right. And then the office that's going to have some beautiful French doors put in it. Lots of can lighting. This would be a great spot to have your, this would be a great spot to have for your desk. I said, let's go in. I think my GoPro is trying to overheat on me. So, because uh, yeah, it is hot out in Texas right now. As I'm recording this, it is 11 July, 2022. And we're having a heat wave like we haven't seen since, oh, since I moved back to Texas in 11 years ago. But we do have two bedrooms up front. So yeah, I think we're at like 104 degrees. It's usually not this hot. Last year, we uh, we had like four days over 100 degrees last year. And now we're at like 20 already and it's early in the summer. So this is not normal for the folks thinking about moving here, but it does happen like every 10 years. So like I said, when I moved back in 2011, it was like this too. So this is going to be the bathroom that they share. Another bedroom. With another really good sized closet. Just love how wide these hallways are. And then it just keeps getting wider. So this space is really big, really grand exactly what my client was looking for when we started the search she was looking for something with a little grandness to it and i'm glad she got this house and she got it for a really hell of a deal uh i'm not going to mention what it is because texas is a non-disclosed state so please don't ask that in the comments i have no problem sharing what people what they were asking for it but once you get something under contract it's it's now my client's uh, prerogative to share what they paid for it but definitely a little bit of a Tuscan look to this beautiful granite that's really nice this is a gas community that was one of those prerequisites for my client she wanted to be able to cook on gas and this is gonna be really nice looking uh, dark wood cabinets refrigerator is gonna go right there more you're going to have an oven underneath and an oven over on this side with your built-in microwave. Really good sized pantry. It kind of curves around. And a little butler's pantry 
area over here with matching granite. So very cool, and that just leads right back into the dining room. We also have a two-car garage. Oh no, two-and-a-half-car garage. I forgot this plan has a two-and-a-half-car garage, so you can use this as a work area. It does have a tankless water heater, as you can see, and access to the attic. But you can see they got the radiant barrier and stuff up there. Perry does build a very energy efficient homes. Um, if you've watching my channel for a while and you're like, wow, he sure is doing a lot of Perry homes. He must work for them. I don't. It's just my clients end up keep buying Perry homes. And that's because they're great builders. And uh, I do not work for any builders. I'm a real estate agent. Let me close that toilet because it bothers me. Um, and I work for my buyers. I have no loyalty to any builders, but I do know which builders have a great reputation and Perry's one of them. So, yeah, with a two year warranty, that doesn't hurt. And uh, they got some nice incentives going on right now as well. But this is your breakfast nook slash sitting area. If you wanna make this a little lounge place, that's kind of neat. Some people do like a little coffee room area but this is also the utility room plenty good size with some cabinets there but you do have the big formal dining room so you can do with this space as you want but check out this space in here these are going to be clear glass once they pull the plastic off this is your game room section looks like they've already got it pre-wired for some other speakers there a lot of space here's they've got this interesting they've got an ethernet port on this wall and a plug for the tv and an ethernet port on the other wall with their plug thing for being able to route your cables up i'm not sure what these other plugs on the walls would be for interesting but my client wasn't the original designer of this house and you have pre-wired speakers up there this house came back on the market and my client was able to jump on it so she did not go to the design center for it and it should be ready in August if I haven't said so already notice we also have lots of can lighting up here place to put a big old fan and you can see it's pre-wired for speakers in the ceiling there and pre-wired for can lighting if you want to do that on here haven't seen can lighting on this plan before but it could be interesting it'll be up to my client once she closes on it to see what she wants to do this does have a beautiful fireplace i need to find out if they're going to do some rock stuff around it they might or just leave it like it is but it's got a jack and ethernet port for a TV there as well. This is one of my favorite features of this plan is you've got your long-term guest bedroom or your alternate master bedroom. Depends on how much your spouse snores. And in my family, yeah, this would be the room I would be sleeping in a lot because both me and my wife tend to snore and one of us would be sleeping in this room. With a full bath, shower combo, and a decent sized closet as well so you can use this as a long-term guest bedroom or the get out of my bed you're snoring too much room love the lighting in this plan big beautiful extended patio with really tall ceilings and you see where they can, you can put a fan up there too. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be really nice. Not the uh, most scenic backyards, but it's plenty big. Like I said, this is the uh, more cost-effective Perry home. That's not the 55 foot plan, but uh, yeah, you still have plenty of room to do your fire pit session, put a couple of trees out here, your hot tub, and still have a nice time. But I do like the fact that they extended the patio out a little bit because the sun's going to be setting on the front of the house 
creating shade on your backyard area. So yeah, if they wanted to extend this patio out and make this a really nice entertainment area, they can do that and still have shade in the afternoons. And it is plumb for gas and your power. All right, one more stop to the master bedroom. We do have a power outlet in the floor. Great location for that. Also eight foot doors throughout and just, just can't get over how much I love these tall ceilings. Really changes the feel of the house along with great lighting. So we have more French doors going into the master bath. You have your big soaking tub, dual vanities with adult height cabinet so you don't have to break your back bending over. Little Madison cabinet, nice light fixtures, water closet, little linen closet, and two closets here. There's, there's going to be one of them. Got place for shoes or boots, whichever way you go. And then another closet. That's going to be a little bit bigger and wrapping around some. Well, I don't know. They might be close to the same size. They're close, but at least you'll have your individual closets. But this is a really good looking shower. Mud inset, so they actually go into the foundation there, taking the tile all the way to the ceiling, and they will be putting up glass and the, a door here eventually. Good look at everything. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this 3257 plan built by Perry Homes. Sorry if I'm sweating. Like I mentioned before, it's hot outside, so no air conditioning in this house as of yet, but they'll get there. But I want to do this video for my clients so they can show this house off to their friends and family. I know her husband's still back uh, out of state right now, but he'll be coming soon. And I think he's going to absolutely love this house and this community. And I'm so happy for my client for being able to be close to her daughter, her son, and her grandkids. So it's going to be a nice reunion time and for them to enjoy their families all together. All right, if you've got any questions for me, uh, reach out to me. Uh, the best way to do that is to click a link to my calendaring app that's going to be in the description box and I'll be happy to get schedule a meeting with you. But always click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. Alright, take care now. Bye.